Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here at Islington Boxing Club. The likes joined by Raven Chapman. First of all, before we talk about your fight, um, enjoy helping out the kids coming. Obviously, Queensbury have pledged quite a significant amount of money, but you've done your little bit today, and uh, it's rewarding, isn't it? Yeah, it's great to be a part of it. We've had box da uh, box wise down our club as well, um, so it's a sort of foundation that touches the hearts of our club too. We had impact through knife crime and stuff so it's great to be part of it today and see some of the talent coming through there's some some really good boxers down there today and charlie who's running the session he's doing a really good job and getting everyone really motivated and involved so yeah i'm glad i could be part of it yep. shout out charlie beat so let's talk about you then uh, how are you yeah i feel really good i feel just excited to be back in a fight week again. It feels like it's been such a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm just enjoying every moment so far. You know, my, my weight's been good. I'm not dehydrated or starving myself yet. So um, I feel good. I feel all happy. And as soon as I get in that fight week little bubble later, later on in the week, um, yeah, it's just, it's gonna be showtime. Yeah, and what a fight week to come back into. Obviously, 0-2, stacked from top to bottom, and you're in a really good fight against an undefeated South American, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, undefeated fighter. Um, for what we've seen of her, she, she looks pretty tough, which is exactly the kind of fights that I want and need. You know, for me, in terms of my progress and everything that's been talked about regarding other titles moving forward, I've, I've got to win this fight and I've got to win it like with class and style and so that's what we're going to plan to go out and do on Saturday night and yeah I just can't wait to get back in there and show some of the new stuff that we've been working on, some of the things that I haven't been able to show just in previous fights and uh, yeah just get out there and do my thing again. Obviously every fighter will always say wins a win because you've got to get the job done. But when your name is being mentioned in some of the biggest fights, which we all come on to in a bit, is it important for you to feel like you are showing that little bit extra to make sure that you are getting those fights, you deserve it, and you're showing that? Yeah, 100%. I know, I know what's within me, and I know how good I can be and what I can do. And when it comes to performing on the night, I just want to make sure I perform to my best every time I get in there. And, and put on a show, you know, like you say, it's a show business, you know, you've got to, the fans have got to enjoy it, so I always want to make sure the fans enjoy watching me fight, that there's going to be action, there's going to be lots going on, lots of punches thrown, lots of heavy shots, and, and that's what I want to do, you know, I want to please the fans and I want to enjoy myself in there, and the more I enjoy myself in there, the better I am as a fighter. Obviously, when you first signed with Queensbury, feels like a long time ago now, you're part of the furniture now, you're being kind of classed as the queen of Queensbury. There wasn't many females on the roster. Now you've got Chantel Cameron who just fought, you've got like Nick Park kind of ranking. Do you like that, that you're not the only female now? That You've obviously started it, you started the trend, you're still the queen of Queensbury, but now fight weeks, maybe mixing it with a few girls, and now it's just, you're not going to be the only one. Yeah, 100%. It was kind of one of the things at the start where the aim was to sort of show Queensbury and Frank and stuff that women can fight too and they can be entertaining and people will want to watch it. And obviously I, I've done that. They've signed other women now, like you said, some of them. Now they've gone on to shine, sign Chantel, which is an amazing signing. Um, so yeah, it's just, just great that I could be there to really push that through for, for the other women and we deserve the opportunity, we deserve to be on the main stage and, and now we're getting there. A little bit of friendly rivalry just to prove that you're Queensbury's number one still? Oh yeah, I'm still Queen of Queensbury. No one can take that spot from me <laughs> anyway. So I, I started it off, so I'm, I'm, I'm the ruler at the moment, but like I say, we've got some great talent coming up now with Queensbury and yeah, like I say, Chantel had a great fight last week. She performed really well. I could see what she was working on, working with a new coach and stuff. And I thought, yeah, I thought it's just great to be able to watch a TNT show 
and see another female fighting on it. It feels like every interview you do, you're now asked about Sky Nicholson, right? Like, first of all, before we talk about it, because inevitably we will, how do you feel about that, everyone asking you about her? I think it shows that it's a fight that people want to see, you know? And I it's think, vice versa, by the way. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's a fight everyone wants to see, and, and that's why people are asking about it. We're kind of the two like main up-and-comers, I feel like, in the weight division that have proved time and time again what we're about. So it doesn't surprise me. We've, I think, known for a little while that we're on a collision course. And uh, yeah, it's both a fight that I know we both want and it's a fight that I know we'll both enjoy. What did you make of her most recent performance? Uh, I didn't actually watch it. Um, I've seen a couple highlights, I guess, but yeah, I think same from what I've heard, the same sky as what I would have expected to see. When you say you're on a collision course, um, is that collision close? Do you think? Do you think it will happen soon? Yeah, obviously, I was always told I was uh, mandatory for her title. Um, I've got, obviously, the next fight to think about. Can't overlook anyone. But, uh, you know, so that's a must win fight for me now if I want to push on to start fighting for these world titles. And, um, yeah, there's there's a high possibility, high possibility that it could be next. The dream is 5v5 on a rare season card, right? Yeah, like I say, that would just be amazing. Um, great showdown, great fight to have on there. And I think it's a fight that... Everyone, when they've spoken about 5 3 fires have always agreed on. So, one way or another, it will happen. Do you know Sky? Like, do you get on with each other outside of boxing? Yeah, I know Sky. We've got a lot of respect for each other. Um, we've always got on. There's never been any sort of needle there. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and badmouth her or respect her as the fighter that she is and the person that she is. You said you two are the two kind of upcoming in your weight division. Do you feel like that next generation of Crown is really to be there for the taking? We know Amanda Serrano is there at the minute. She probably isn't going to be there forever. She's probably got a few more fights. But really, out of used to, the one who kind of wins and push on will be the face of that division. Yeah, 100%, I think so. And like you say, Amanda's sort of moved up in the way. So I do believe she'll come back down and try and get those belts back. Um, which again, at that point, would be really great, great because that's that opportunity to fight one of the best there too. So, yeah, it's just a really exciting times. It's a, a weight division with a lot going on at the moment, and, uh, and that's what I want to be part of, and it's exciting. Well, before all that, we have got Saturday night. Um, can't wait to watch it, Raven. Thank you very much, and best of luck on Saturday. Is there anything else you'd like to mention? Just want to say thank you to all the supporters. Thank you to my sponsors and everyone else. I've had a great camp, and make sure you tune in on Saturday night and watch me put on a performance. Raven, thank you very much. Cheers. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.